Medicine. Dicky? Dicky? Going someplace? To the dance contest. Mickey, 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 Mickey. I'm all better. <coughs> all better, huh? That was a hiccup. What was that, a burp? Here you go. No. Gov, your three o'clock is here. Mickey, I gotta go. Come on, open up. It tastes yucky. Yucky? This? I beg to differ. This is definitely not yucky. This is delicious. Show a clapper. Come on, open up. Lovely. See? Tastes like strawberry. Boy, you could put this on ice cream. You put it on ice cream. Okay, there's nothing left to do that if you don't drink this, I'm gonna burn your sneakers. Huh? You tricked me. Sue me. <laughs> Come on, kid. I want to go to the dance contest. You can't, baby. You still have fever. But I tell you what we are going to do. You're all better. You and I are going to go out there, and you're going to say what? Watch out, world. Right. <laughs> I can't. I'm at Foley's, you know, hoping he won't make any more changes. I'd like to tell Foley to get lost, only he's got too much money in this. But, okay, I'll handle it, right? Just give me the address, I'll handle it. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting, Miles. Problems? Ah, just flying the ointment. Oh, architect's major changes. Great, let me see. Yeah, the permits are in, we break ground next week. Beautiful. It's coming along beautifully. Uh, your vision, I know how. Is it really the Italian marble? I can, but if you ask me, it's a waste of money. I want it. Who's going to know the difference? I will. Foley Center's going to be around a long time after we're gone, Miles. I think we'll have bronze doors. Um, I have a couple of Luzanne's to take care of. I'll give you a call. Sure.
not great. You can take them. The crowd likes them. They ain't seen us yet. Shine today. Gotta reach down for that extra something. You can do it. Let's win this one for Mickey. Yeah, this one's for the bug. <laughs> for the, for bug. the bug. <laughs> now is the time for the final contestants. I know them since they are this high. They used to live over by the orphanage, and now they are the sweetie pies of Mr. Nick Foley, who makes all that frozen food that you eat sometimes when you have uh, no time to cook. Huh? Hey, shut up. I'm the boss here. All right, let's bring them on a nice big speed of welcome for Nick Forrest Girl. I give you five hundred dollars moving expenses. I've been here thirty-four years. That's not my problem. Now look, I'm running late. I got a lease. Had a lease. You and your lousy lawyers. I've got good lawyers. They read the fine print. Now look, I've got a building to go up here, and you got to get out. That's life. I'll tell you what. I'll give you seven hundred dollars, but that's it. Nell, I don't want your money. You want to put me out of here? You're going to throw me out. 
That's exactly what I'm going to do, Pops. Oh, Rosie. Uh, oh. Here's the trophy. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Thanks, Vera. Now, it's all right. I'll hold on. I'm okay. I feel wonderful. Stop talking. I want to go outside. If you have no fever, I'll take you out for a while. Now, close your mouth. Hello, Miles. I'm sitting here looking at the model, and it suddenly hit me. It cries for another fountain right in the middle of the great lawn. I don't care if it ups the cost. You'll still make out okay. Just get the architects on it. Okay, let's see what we have here. I feel great. Well, I would think you'd feel a little chilly with a temperature of 58. Good trick. Ooh, you're so cute. Girls, come here. You haven't seen this yet. You won! The dance contest? Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, wait a minute. What's the matter? You just won a dance contest you practiced for for a whole week. You should be ecstatic. Instead, you're walking around like... like the Everly Brothers just died. What is it? They're closing down Spiro's place. The mall shop all the kids go to. It's like our second home. Doesn't he have a lease? Psh, bunch of lawyers creamed it. We won't be able to go there anymore? No. They're gonna tear his place down and put up some crummy building. And it's hopeless. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it? You're gonna cave in just like that? What can we do? Well, the first thing you can do is change your attitudes. I mean, right now, you're all acting like a bunch of losers. We can't win. They got the law on their side. Don't you know how this country got started? Didn't George III have the law on his side, too? But it was unjust, so they fought back. The Boston Tea Party. Taxation without representation is tyranny. Give me liberty or give me death. You know all that stuff. This is a big company. How do you fight them? The way we fought Zabriskie. Zabriskie? You see, when I was a kid, we used to hang out in this empty lot behind Zabriskie's supermarket and play stickball. But Zabriskie hated to see us playing there. So one day, he puts up this big fence around it to keep us out. So what did you do? We picketed the supermarket. We pulled all kinds of stunts. See, we'd go there when the place was filled with shoppers. We'd buy fruit, eat it, and then fall down like we just got poisoned. <laughs> then we'd get up. And we go over to the poultry counter and tell the customers there that the chickens they just bought died of natural causes. By the time we were done, the whole neighborhood knew what a bully Zabriskie was. Two weeks later, the fence was down, and we had our lot back. This is different. This guy's a big developer. I don't care how big the bum is. The way to beat this guy is with bad PR. Puerto Ricans? Puerto Ricans? Public relations. Right. He starts looking like a bully, he gets a bad image. And that's really gonna hurt him. So that's what you girls have to do. You have to make him look bad. We're gonna do it. We'll protest. We'll be all over that creep. He'll wish he were never born. We're gonna tear him down. He's in big trouble. Now you're talking like Foley girls. Come on, we gotta make some plans. Except you. Come on, Tiger. It'd really be nice if Rose was here to help us. Where'd she go? To get some kids to join us. We don't need them. With what I got here, Parnell's a dead man. Take that, Parnell. And that. How does this look? Are you kidding? What's wrong? You can't say Parnell makes me puke. We live in a democracy. I can say anything I want. Forget it. I am not going to pick it on the same corner as that sign. The man is going to be a mere shell when I get through. No, this is really great. Parnell is so insensitive. Really powerful, Diane. It's better than disgusting. OK, OK, listen, listen. <clears throat> Questions we should ask about Miles Parnell. One, is Miles Parnell a bigamist? 
It is rumored he has deserted three wives, all of them now starving and living in shacks in Europe. Two, what did Mr. Parnell do when he was in the Coast Guard? Many people say he sold Coast Guard secrets to communist Romanians. Three, what about those unsolved murders in DeLuca's same-day cleaners? Hold it. Is all this true? Who kid? You can't say all that. He'll sue us. Don't sweat it, Diane. Parnell makes me... You can't say that. I told her. At least it's the truth. Not a bunch of lies or that sissy garbage. I don't need this abuse. Oh, so you think you can do better? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Do it. I want to see you. Do it. Do it. Finish. What is that supposed to be? Parnell face. That's ridiculous. Face it. All your signs are ridiculous. Don't say that. You're so mean. See what you did? What I did? I'm just trying to be honest. sugarcoat him or lie about him. We just have to get the word out. Now let's do it. Come on. Bet that Greek guy put you up for this, huh? Who are you? The name's Parnell. Now look, whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. But you gotta get out of here now, all right? Look, how much you kids want? Well, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Diane? Ask Marva. She's good in business. Five bucks a piece, okay, huh? You know, the economy is in an inflationary spiral. What? Sign down. Yes, sir. Save Bill! Save Bill! Ah, give me a bow! 
Give me. For a minute. That's what we did with Zabriskie. <laughs> right. Come on, let's go plan our next move. Yes. Oh, and let's get Patty and Mickey and have a real feast. Mm -hmm. Protesting made me so hungry. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Look, during the Zabriskie campaign, we all ate like horses. <laughs> go ahead, fill up. Get all those nutrients. You got a lot of work to do. Great kids. I love them. I'll get a clap if I get it. By the way, what's that clown's name? Hey, Miles, thanks for coming by. Oh, here are some designs for the new fountain. Great, I can't wait to see them. Come on in. Want some coffee? Oh, I could use something stronger. Sure, help yourself. Wait a minute. What's that stuff in your ear? Huh? Oh, uh, we had a little problem down at the office this morning. About our project? A protest against our choice of the building sites. A few crackpots, huh? What, are we knocking down a couple of redwoods or something? Mall chop, some crazy kids are attached to it. Mall chop? Kids? College kids? No, younger. High school. Boys? No. Girls. Just girls. How many? Eight? Nine? Four. Now look, are we going to discuss these plans or not? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to discuss it, but, but in the study, see, it's, 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 my, it's, it's, it's my much cozier in here. Oh, relax. Have a cigar. I'll be right back. Oh. Mom, stop. That, that guy, the one who landed in the cement, what's his name? Parnell. Miles Parnell. Aha. Uh -huh. Something wrong? No, 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 J just a little headache. Look, we've got to talk. Got some new strategy, huh? Right, it's something like that. Nick, I'll be right there. So, so go, go, go eat. You said you were hungry? Go eat. Go, go. Hey, Nick. You got any matches? Matches? Yeah, sure. I got matches. I got plenty of matches. In fact, here's a lighter. Custom made. Very expensive. Piece of junk. Um, I'll get some matches. You, you go wait in the sunroom. Why? Why not? You've already seen the living room and the study, but you haven't seen the sunroom. It's very pleasant in there. You love it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sit. Watch. I'll get matches. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Eating. Diane! Eating? You want to eat? Go eat in the kitchen. But we always eat here. Well, I'll make it a new way. What the devil is this? Miles, don't. Please, go back and well, into the sun. What are they doing here? With them. Oh, they're, um... What are you doing here? Him. He's, um... If you came around to complain, you got the wrong guy. This man gave us the idea. What? A couple of suggestions. Do they know we're partners? Partners? Yes, and that we're going to tear down that malt shop to make way for the Foley Center. Some coincidence, huh? Yeah, some coincidence. Listen, you all did what you thought was right. It's just unfortunate that, uh... Nick, is it really impossible to let Spiro stay? Rose, I would love to let him stay. There's nothing that would give me more pleasure, believe me, than to let him stay. But he's been there for over 34 years. It's a restaurant. It can be relocated. Can't you relocate your building? Ma, but that's impossible. We break ground this week. Look, I, I, I feel terrible about this. 
My, my hands are tied. So I guess, um, yours are too. What do you mean? Well, it's, it's over. There's really nothing you can do about it. You did say we should fight for what we believe in, didn't you? Uh, yes, that, that's true. I, I did say that. You said we shouldn't cave in. You were very clear about that. Uh, yes, I was. You I... encouraged us, remember? The Boston Tea Party! Taxation without representation! Give me liberty or give me death. All right, all right. I, I did encourage you. So I guess it, uh, it isn't fair for me to all of a sudden stifle you like this. You all should do what you believe you have to do. Well, maybe we can get you to change your mind. Oh, Rose, I'm sorry. Because I should do what I believe I have to do, right? I mean, it works both ways, doesn't it? All right, look. We're on opposite sides of an issue here. But we're still a family, right? We still love each other, don't we? Yeah. Let's... Let's just respect each other's position and not let it affect our relationship, okay? Right. What do you say we have some lunch? Good idea. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> here we go. What do we got here? Chicken salad. Oh, I love chicken. Here, here Nick, let me hit you right on your bread. You know, our cook makes the best chicken salad in the whole world. This chicken salad is better. That's because it's Spiro's secret recipe. 34 years he's had that recipe. 34 years, gone, for some building. Diane, this is not just some building. This building is going to be a landmark. Really? What's it going to do for people? You know how many jobs it's going to create? What about the community? It's not like you're building a hospital or a park. Let's face it, it's just a stupid office building. A stupid office building? Is the Empire State Building stupid? Is the Eiffel Tower stupid? I got the best architects. I got marble from Italy. I got wood from Brazil. I waited my whole life to build this. You think I'm going to let a bunch of kids talk me out of it? I'll bet that's what Zabriskie said. Zabriskie? What does this have to do with Zabriskie? You think I'm going to let a bunch of kids talk me out of closing that lot? This is nothing like Zabriskie. What's the difference? There's plenty of difference. Zabriskie was selling chickens. I'm building a monument. Zabriskie was uh, closing a junky lot. I'm opening a great center of commerce. Zabriskie was a big, arrogant, loudmouth jerk. And I'm... Is that what you think I am? Well, I guess you have a right to think whatever you want to think. And you have a right to do whatever you want to do. In fact, you have a right to pick it until you're blue in the face. But Spiros is going down, and the Foley Center is going up. Why are you kids hanging around? Why don't you go home? We like it here, you mind? We gotta do something. Rosie, what are you going to do? They're gonna come here pretty soon and then they throw me out and that's gonna be the end of it. I learned the mashed potato here. I had my first milkshake here. First place I heard Little Rich. I think I'll use the ladies' room. One last time. Come on. I'll go with you. Girls, you like to do something for Spiro, huh? Sure, anything. Oh, good. Give me one more dance. Hmm? Come on. Please. Oh, thank you. One last time. You make me very happy.
Sir Spiro Aropoulos here. That's me. Oh, yeah? I got a court order that says you gotta move out of here. Skinny, you start with the box. Where do you think you're going with that box? Didn't they tell you who owns that now? No, who? Mr. Zabriskie. Who's that? Can you believe this guy? You ever heard of Fat Tony Zabriskie? The Hoboken hacker? He left strict orders. No one's to touch anything here. Nobody ever told me anything about that. And who are you? I'm Fat Tony's niece. And this is Tony's daughter, Tina. He is crazy about her. Yeah. He just bought me a new convertible. Is this true? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when I sell everything to, to Mr. Zabriskie, he liked everything so much, he asked them all uh, to watch over for him. Rose, you don't have to tell Fat Tony. It's not this poor guy's fault. Just get him out of here. If you want to stay healthy, you better go. Fat Tony finds out about this. You don't have to tell him about it now, do you? Hey, hey, where's the phone? Uh, ne never mind, never, never mind, forget it. Uh, come on, Skinny, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on here? All right, put it back in the truck. What are you doing? I don't want any trouble here. What are you talking about? If you think I'm gonna mess with Fat Tony Zabriskie, oh. forget it. Fat Tony Zabriskie? Yeah, the Hoboken hacker, uh-huh. Oh, now, wait a minute, where did you get this information? From his daughter inside there, also his niece and another little girl. Foley girls, come on. Foley girls. My old man used to say, whatever you do, make sure you do your best. The girls are a little too young to understand. You know, sometimes you've got to take down something good to put up something better. Someday they'll understand. Foley residence. Yes, sir, he's here. Mr. Parnell. Hello? I'm on my way. Why did he do this? I don't know. I just know that whatever happens, we can't just sit here and take it. She's right. We gotta go down fighting. Yeah, we gotta think of this place like the Alamo.
you, you little rat. Now, come on. Now. Give me that. Nikki. She's letting the air out of the tires. Ow, let me go. Ow, you little... Oh. Oh. Well, Miles, I'm sorry, but it's, it's my kid. You know, it's just a little swelling. Hey, come on, get away. Get How was it, huh? Look, we're sorry. We apologize. Apologize? For what? I had a very interesting morning. How often do I have a chance to share a cell with Louis the Torch, Freddy the Shiv, and some loon who thinks he's the Pope? The Pope? It was a wonderful experience. Before I left, he made me Archbishop of Chicago. Now, get in the car. Take him to school, Clapper. Where are you going? I'm going to go visit that guy, Spiro. I don't like him playing Pied Piper to a bunch of kids that are getting him in trouble. He's not his fault. I am going to put that guy straight right now. Now get in the car. My name's Nick Foley. You and I have to have a little talk. Oh, that's right. Listen, I make big mistake when I let your girls into my problems. But I promise, no more troubles, okay? Oh. Well, that's, um, that's good. Besides, uh, no way I can beat the big guys. No way I can win. So I just pack up and get out. So you're gonna relocate someplace? No, I too old to start over. Oh, please, could I have those pictures? Sure. Wait a minute. I know this kid. What's his name? Oh, Johnny Petrosian. He's a good guy. Never miss a free throw. Dr. Petrosian. He's my dentist. Oh? How do you like that? He used to have hair. <laughs> That's Henry Kramer, the city uh -huh. councilman. He's a good buddy of mine. Oh, yeah, he was senior class president in 33. Boy, could he talk. <clears throat> Vote for me. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> Henry used to come here too, huh? Oh, he still come here whenever he's crazy for some of Spiro's sloppy jaws. You're pretty popular, Spiro. This kid with the guitar. That's uh, Terry Lamont, the big country western singer, right? <laughs> yeah, good memory. Oh, how about these? Please, those girls never have a nice home to come to before you. They're pretty crazy about you. I'm pretty crazy about them. You, you, you go ahead, keep, huh? Give to them. I got the, I got the negative, it's all right. Thanks. Oh, good luck. Send them in. Now, let's agree not to talk about this morning, OK? Sure. And you can forget about the marble and forget about the fountain. It's too expensive. I decided to forget about the project. What? I don't want to build it anymore. I'll buy out your share with interest. You're kidding me. Because of that old Greek? Is it a deal? What about the great Foley Plaza, the great Foley Center, Foley this, Foley that, the big monument, huh? 
Well, some monuments need preserving. Besides, I've already got better monuments. Five of them. What's your answer? No deal, Foley. Now that building, and I don't give a hoot what it's called. It's gonna go up, it's gonna make millions. You want, you can donate yours to charity. But at three o'clock, that restaurant's coming down. And there ain't a thing you can do about it. Yes, Mr. Foley. Cancel all my appointments. I'm going to be busy. Now, come in. I need a bunch of telephone numbers. How you doing, Spiro? Oh, it's all over, Nick. Where I come from, you don't stop fighting until you hear the bell. Well, look who's here. So, you finally came around, huh? Well, let's just say I'm here. Good. This should be quite a show. I uh, hope so. Yeah, it's uh, it's just about time. Hey, hey, rev her up! Come on now, let's get this thing knocked down. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your rush? Come on, Foley, get out of here. Hold, 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 hold it. it. Hold it. Hold it. Wait a minute. Whoa. You said three o'clock. It's five to three. Now I own half come this on, enterprise. I say we start on time and not a minute before. Does anybody know any good jokes? How about this one? A guy says to a waiter, "What's that fly doing in my soup?" And the waiter says, "The backstroke." Huh. Or he says he's sitting on a noodle. Or he's treading water. There's a lot of punchlines to that joke. Wait a minute, do you know the one about the short little giraffe and the cross-eyed traffic cop? Oh, it right seems here. this little it's pink right giraffe, here. this, this yeah, giraffe, fucking down the come street. Come on, you hey, what are you doing? Come on, let's come on, get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Castleman Kramer, don't you, Miles? Parnell, you touch one brick of spirits. I personally guarantee you will have trouble building an outhouse in this town. I wouldn't cross Henry Miles. Tear your face off, right, Henry? <laughs> right. Great guy. Hello, 
Jeff Foley. I don't like to be brought out here and made an abject Here come the TV cameras. Mr. Parnell, could we have a statement, please? In light of this tremendous public outcry, do you still intend to tear down Spiro's restaurant? Think of your image, Miles. Gentlemen, I'll tell you exactly what I intended. Everybody you do business with is going to see this. Well, gentlemen, you see, I brought my crew. You could come out of this looking like a saint, even though you're a skunk. Gentlemen, uh, as always, the Parnell Development Company uh, places people above profits. Uh, uh, consequently, we have reconsidered, and, well, we would not tear down such uh, a neighborhood monument as Spiro. Very well put. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. How do you do all this? Well, a couple of phone calls, then a kind of steamrolled. You mean a lot to people, Spiro. Thanks to you, I, I got my kids back. <laughs> They're the ones who deserve thanks. From both of us. Listen, everybody. Tomorrow is big celebration. Everybody come, OK? <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Hey, anytime, kid. Come on, let's go home. Nick, we're sorry about your building. We know how much it meant to you. Well, you know, I've been thinking. It's a nice neighborhood, but it could use a community center. You know, with a gym, game room, maybe a little theater. Nick, that'd be so nice. Nick Foley Community Center. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll call it the, you know, the neighborhood community center. But, you know, maybe. A little plaque on the side with my name on it. <laughs> Picture of me and Of course, a nice statue of me on the roof.